Hi, I'm Jody Tyler, the president and partner of Kingdom Landscaping. We are here today at the Whaley Residence and we are going to be installing an outdoor living space that features a raised paver patio, sitting wall, a concrete paver overlay, and also an aquascape bubbling fountain basin. you can expect when we arrive on your property on the first day. You're going to see us moving in lots of tools and equipment and materials. So the one, first thing you're going to see is our job trailer that has all of our tools. And then Tom will be moving in his Bobcat skid load. Now Tom is excellent when it comes to setting up and staging all of your material, making sure everything gets arrives on time from the different distributors, and for instance, the pavers and the retaining wall block. They will be delivered and he will take care of everything as far as getting the material unloaded and placed where he wants it to be. You don't need to worry about that. In addition, the one thing you don't see here is our stone. Our stone will be delivered and it will be dumped either in the driveway, in the street, or if there's a vacant lot nearby. And it, the next piece of equipment that comes in and out all the time is our dump truck. So we will be using it to haul in the material, to set the job up, and uh, it, everything will run smoothly. One of our project consisted of laying pavers on top of an existing concrete patio. We call this a paver overlay. 
And in this situation, the homeowners chose E.P. Henry's Bristol Stone Pewter Blend 16, which is a new color for 2016, along with the Harvest Blend 16 Bullnose Paver. And the transform transformation is incredible to change a plain concrete patio into something that looks this beautiful. You can do this in your home too. Now, the next phase was our bubbling rock fountain. This consists of an aqua basin from Aquascape, and then we handpick the stone and core drill them for the pump and tubing to come out for the bubbling feature. What we love about this, with this type of rock, is that it also serves as a bird bath. And yes, the birds have already found this feature, and they love it. this project consisted of setting these beautiful stone slabs for a set of steps. Now these particular slabs are also from E.P. Henry and they are from the Devon Stone line and they're called the Chilton Step. Now the one thing you'll notice is they have this beautiful chiseled finish in the front. Now these steps also come in a thermal finish but the chiseled finish really sets the tone for this entire project. It just blends in very well. Now, the next thing that the guys are working on is the raised patio. In order to do a raised patio, we have to build a retaining wall. Now, everybody out there who thinks, well, I can't have a patio because my yard is sloped. That's not true. You can have a patio. We just have to build a retaining wall on the outside edge to bring that elevation up for the patio. And that's what we're doing here. And they've already set the base course is actually entirely buried. You don't see it. It's embedded in the ground. And then they've already laid the second course. This is E.P. Henry's Coventry line of block. And it will be in the Harvest Blend color.
next phase of this project consists of building the sitting wall on top of the retaining wall that they built yesterday. So right here is the sitting wall that they've already started. It's a six inch multi-piece system using the E.P. Henry Coventry line of block. The color is Harvest Blend. In addition to the sitting wall, there are two pillars. And this pillar will get a beautiful bluestone pier cap set on top of it. Now, the other thing that will be going on today in this design and build project is the compacted stone base for the pavers. They will compact this base, then they will screed one inch of sand, and then they will lay and cut the pavers for this entire area. It's going to be beautiful. Here we are at the Whaley Residence in Fayetteville, Pennsylvania. The outdoor living space is completed and it looks fabulous.